welcome back in this video I'm going to explain measures of skewness in the last videos I have explained measures of central, central tendency we have applied for the set of observations we got one central value that central value describes the characteristic of set of data and also I will explain the measures of dispersion that is the use of the measures of dispersion for the set of observation if we use measures of dispersion we can have the, the variation so how much it gives the extent of variation so how much variation in the set of data or the extent of variation in the data but from this is measures of center tendency we got one central value and measures of dispersion the variation how much variation from the central value we got but we cannot know the direction of distribution whether distribution is in left side having more observation or more or more more on right side so we can we don't know the the deviation in this measures or uh, know the direction of deviation or direction of the distribution of the data Consider one set of observation and another set of observations. If for the both the set of observation, mean is same and also standard deviation is same, like assume. Okay. Then in this situation, does it imply that the series are same? Based on the mean is same and also standard deviation is same. Can you say that? Before that, if the set of observations for this, the distribution of data is like this. If you use the curve, and also for the second set of observation, the distribution is like that, based on the curve. So now, can we say that? No, but these both mean and standard deviation are both are same, even though distributions are different it looks different in this situation to distinguish the types of distribution we will use measures of skewness if from the based on some observation if you draw curve like for example this is y axis this is x axis this is a curve if this is a curve like this, this is known as symmetrical distribution. See the uniformly distributed the observations. The observations are uniformly distributed in this type of curve. So based on this curve, we can say the distribution is symmetrical. So we can have this type also the curve from the set of observation or from the frequency distribution but this is not symmetrical this is left side having the curve is deviating and this also not symmetrical so this type of curves is known as asymmetrical distribution or symmetrical distribution of course from the set of observation or from the frequency distribution only we got this type of curve this is x axis is y axis x axis y axis so this type of curves is known as skewed curves or skewed distributions this skewed distribution from this we can have skewness refers to this asymmetry or lack of symmetry in a frequency distribution or in the shape of a curve but this is symmetrical these two are asymmetrical nothing but skewed we study skewness to have an idea about the frequency distribution how the observations are distributed this is symmetrical distribution in this symmetrical distribution mean is equal to median is equal to more 
all the three are equal, almost equal. If mean is equal to median is equal to mod, then the distribution is symmetrical distribution. This type of curves is known as asymmetrical or skewed distribution. In this type of distributions, this type of curve is known as positively skewed distribution. So, curve is increasing here and decreasing slowly. And that is known as negatively skewed distribution. So, slowly increasing, suddenly decrease. In this type of curves, mean is not equal to median, is not equal to more. There is a difference between symmetrical and asymmetrical. Symmetrical, all three are equal. Asymmetrical, all are not equal. Particularly in positively skewed distribution, mean is greater than median, is greater than more. And negatively skewed distribution, mean is less than median, less than more. If any value, if I say mode is 5, mean is 4, in this case mean is lesser that mean is 4, mode is 5, then we can say this is negatively distribution. If this is mean is 14 and mode is 5, that is positively skewed distribution. This positively skewed distribution curve, the curve will have larger tail towards the right side. Right side. Here, of course, your higher values will be. You can take this is x and y axis from 0, 10, 20, 30, the set of observations here. This is the frequency. 2, 4, 6, 8. If this is the case, of course, higher values will be right side. Higher values. The curve is increasing suddenly and decreasing slowly. That is positively skewed distribution. And from negatively skewed distribution, we can have the curve will have a larger tail towards left side, the smaller value. Of course, here smaller values, smaller values, 0, 10, 20, this is an observation. Here, right side is the higher values, but here left side is smaller values. The curve is increasing slowly and decreasing suddenly. That is known as negatively skewed distribution. Now, measures of skewness. From these measures of skewness, this gives the direction of deviation above or below the average band. So, above the average or the deviation is, for example, this is a central value, the curve is deviated left or right, below or above. We can have from the measures of skewness. It uh, measures gives the extent of skewness, the amount of skewness. Come to measures of skewness. There are two types. Absolute measures of skewness, relative measures of skewness. Absolute measures, the formula is skewness is equal to mean minus mode. And another one, mean minus median. In the relative measures of dispersion, the first one is Carl Pearson's coefficient of skewness. Skewness, skewness, Carl Pearson, mean minus mode divided by ST. Of course, this is a relative. We have numerator and denominator, some measures are there. So, just like coefficient of variation, coefficient of variation is also relative measure of dispersion, but this is relative measure of skewness. The range is minus 1 to plus 1. And another measure, Bowley's coefficient of skewness, or given by Bowley's, the first one is given by Carpiosis, is equal to 
q3 plus q1 minus 2 medium q3 minus q1 so q3 is the third quarter upper quarter q1 is first quarter or lower quarter so rate is minus 1 plus 1 if you calculate this skewness the Boris coefficient skewness the value lies from minus 1 to plus 1 Another one coefficient of skewness based on movements. Beta 1, it is denoted by beta 1. If beta 1 gives the degree of skewness, square root of beta 1 nothing but is equal to gamma 1 direction of skewness. First one is use degree, that extent or amount of skewness, this is gives direction whether it is positive or negative. Here in detail, I am not mentioning some formulas, some movements are there, I am not mentioning here. For absolute measures, these have the same units of observation. If set of observations have been in centimeter, the skewness units for these measures, unit will be centimeter. But for these relative measures, no unit. Of course, for if, if I mention relative measures, there will be no unit. In general, if skewness is greater than 0 or gamma 1 greater than 0, we can say the distribution is positive. That is positively skewed, skewed distribution. If skewness is 0 or gamma 1 is equal to 0, we can say no skewness. No skewness means, of course, this is symmetrical. Symmetrical or normal distribution. Skewness is less than 0 or gamma 1 less than 0, then we can say the distribution is negatively skewed. Negatively skewed distribution. Thank you.